Imagine being thrown into deep water. You swim frantically, struggling to keep your head above water to keep from drowning. But it's exhausting and you're terrified. At some point, you give up and just float, not knowing if you'll ever escape. This is the notorious forced swim test, developed in the late 1970s and first called a despair test. Experimenters have terrorized hundreds of thousands of mice and rats with this cruel torment. The small animals try to climb up the sides of the beaker, then they dive to the bottom, looking for an escape. They struggle desperately to keep their heads above water. Their extreme fear causes them to defecate. But what does the test even tell us? If you stop swimming and begin floating, is this a sign of despair, that you're giving up on life? Surely being faced with imminent drowning is very different from experiencing depression. Perhaps floating means that you're trying to conserve energy, trying to survive. Those using the test can't even agree on what it tells them about the animals they traumatize. So experimenters draw false conclusions about what may help humans suffering from depression. In fact, the test is less predictive than a coin toss. By subjecting animals to the horror of near drowning, the forced swim test terrifies animals. It also deprives humans of real help for depression. But companies such as Eli Lilly refuse to ban it. Visit peter.org.uk today to learn how you can help phase out the forced swim test.